Dalton from Dyed and Gone to Heaven. We're going to do another video on some more fabric painting techniques. Thanks so much for all your great feedback about our first one, and here we go again. Here I've got two layers of fabric which I'm just going to wet. Using a full strength, opaque or transparent fabric paint, I'm just going to paint across the top and then I'm going to add water to the paint in the container to dilute it and make it paler. And you can just keep repeating that until the paint is really pale. As the colour is very intense, sometimes you need to just tip out some of what you've got and add a whole lot of water if you want to get a really pale effect. And the nice thing is, because I've got two layers, I've got a really interesting piece underneath catching all the excess paint. And here's the finished pair of fabrics. The bottom layer is really interesting because it's got nice lines and textures. Now I'm going to use some opaque paint, which means the paint isn't see-through, and with a roller brush, just going to run through a stencil to create interesting patterning. This is one of the text series from Artist Seller, and I always love using text in my work. You can tell I haven't been overly fussed about mixing the paints beautifully together, because I like the unmixed look. Foam brushes do soak up quite a bit of paint, and so you might need to use a little bit more. My aim here is just to create a bit of patterning. That'll probably do now. And here's the finished piece. Using that bottom layer of fabric and some lovely opulence paints from Craft Colour, I'm just going to use the Ripple Stencil from the Artist Cellar Water Series, one of my favourite stencils. Just speeding it up a little bit for you. Just adding a little bit more white paint, I think, as well. All done. And now we have another lovely piece. This time I'm using opaque paint onto white fabric and very dry brushing it with a little stencil brush, little stubby stencil brush. You can see I'm not using a lot of paint, I'm just putting a little bit of paint onto the stencil just to allow me to brush it off into the design. I use sort of a scrubbing motion. And just change the colour here and there, and move your stencil about. 
Sometimes you get nice combinations when the paints start mixing on the stencil itself. And just building up layers of different colours, different shapes, just to create an interesting piece of fabric. You don't need to use all of the stencil, you can just use it in little bits. Now I'm going to put a wash of colour over this when it's dry. So the paint has dried, the opaque paint, and now I'm just doing a wash of transparent paint over the top. Just with a couple of colours just so it's not flat. You can see how the opaque paint will shine through. But I'm not very good at knowing when to stop and I thought this piece of fabric was a little bit boring still. So I'm going to use some metallic paints that I put into little squirt bottles and a Thermofax screen of a curry plant. I am going to go into Thermofax printing on another video but this is just a quick fix on what I thought was a pretty boring bit of fabric. By so using the opaque metallic paints just creating another layer of texture. I love Thermofax screens. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't for me, but I like to play. And here's the finished piece, a lot more interesting I think. Here's another two layers of fabric, I'm just wetting the top half of it and painting on some opaque paint. Just want you to see the difference in using wet and dry. You can see it's sort of bleeding and running into each other on the top layer. But the bottom layer is actually using exactly the same paint. It's quite stiff to use and you have to keep dipping your brush in the paint. This is just a very simple design which I'll probably cover over soon. This piece is now dry and you can see where the fabric was wet the colours bled into each other but down the bottom it hasn't and on the second layer hardly any paint's gone through where it was dry. It's a pretty ugly bit of fabric so now I'm going to play a bit more. These were opaque paints so now I'm giving it a wash of a transparent paint. And some of that colour will come through, not all of it. Certainly makes a little bit more interesting though. And then when it's dry, it looks like this. Sometimes you have happy accidents. This piece of paper towel I was using to clean my hands had really nice effects with the metallic paints, so I thought I'd try it with fabric. So I just got some wet fabric and dabbed on some of the paints that I'd been using. All of them were opaque and including some of the metallic paints. 
and I grabbed one of those little squirt bottles as well and just squirted some of the paint on. Then I just scrunched it all up. Made sure the paint sort of got into all the little creases. Opened it up and just let it dry. And here's the finished piece when it's ironed. So there's a few more ideas on fabric painting. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.